YouTube, welcome back. It's been a long, long time since I dropped the video. I apologize for that. We still making progress with the car. I just had some stuff come up, waiting on some parts to show up, get delivered for it. Also, man, I've been, you know, dealing with life. Being a dad comes first, so I gotta take that stuff serious. But y'all seen the title to the video. We got the car running and driving a little bit. We haven't drove it much. So we're going to actually look over some of the other updates we've done. But like I said in the title of the video, we're going to wrap these back seats with these new skins that we got from Mike's Monty's. So I'm going to show you all the new seat skins we got. Let me flip this camera around and show you all these seat skins. So as y'all can see, here's the old worn out. Let me dust this camera off. Faded seats. Y'all can see how nasty and dirty these seats are. I mean, completely faded out at the top. Completely different color than the inside of the car. I'll show y'all the seats. We got the new front seats in, as you can see. The new carpet, and we're able to get the door panels fully finished. All that's done. So what's left is to really get the back seat and stuff like that finished up. So we're working on that and getting just the minor stuff put done on the interior before we really send this thing off to paint. But these are the new seat covers we got from Mike's Monty's. Like I said, we're gonna get those installed today. I don't know if I'm gonna take off the old cushion covers, which I think I'm not. I think I'm just gonna stick the new ones over the old ones just to keep it tight and that, you know, give it a cleaner look. I think if I pull the old ones off, then it's going to, I think the foam will start to come apart, so. Yeah, we just gonna leave those on and uh, I'm about to start installing these and I'll cut y'all back on when we start installing them and show y'all how that goes. So I decided I'm just gonna install these new ones over these old ones because it'll actually help as a guide, like a template for me when I go to put my hog rings in. I got off Amazon. When I go to put these hog rings in and here, it'll actually help me a lot better to kind of see my spots and like I said, it's actually making this a lot tighter so it'll look a lot cleaner when it's together. And then we're just gonna, once we get them all, clean up all these brackets, get off the old stuff. And then we're gonna install this seat. So let me start installing these uh, clips right quick and uh, show y'all the end product at the bottom and then we'll start on the top of the seat. So we back, I was able to get hog rings close to all the original hog ring spots. But I think they cut this, this skin a little bit too short. I was able to get it hog ring, like I said, almost every spot, but this spot here, so we'll flip it over, see how it looks. I mean, it looks spot on, man. We were able to, like I said, hog ring down, get all the dust and the flakes off of it. Got it down everywhere except for here. Right here is a little tight right there. So what I think I may do is I may see if I can actually run a hole through here and just run some hog rings here because I don't think there's a like a mount surface right here for hog rings. So I may drill one out and see if I can just finish this and get it tight right here and right here. And then we'll be done with the base of this seat. And then we're going to do the back, and I'm going to put everything back together and show y'all what the finished product looks like. So let me get this finished, and I'll cut y'all back on. Man, so we back, and as y'all see, I finally finished the seat covers for the back seat that we're going to be trying to install pretty soon. But I got to do some rust repair in the floor pans underneath the back seat, which I think I may do that with, like, some fiberglass and just some rust seal because it's just small spots anyway. So the whole car is gonna get your uh, rhino line. But like I said, man, we were able to get it. As you can see, like I said, it's kinda, some spots I think I'm gonna have to pull tighter at the top and like maybe haul green them tighter at the lower spots. Or I could just leave it like it is, like I said, cause this car is no, by no means necessary a show car. This car is a true budget build. I'm gonna be doing 95% of the work of this car by myself. Like I've done all of it, man, you can tell. The seats are in. We got an update on some of the stuff that we've done to it that y'all haven't seen. 
It's got a brand new hood that we got from Summit Racing because that hood's bent, so we're gonna have to get that off somewhere. The motor, man, like I said, it's all wired up. I actually got some new wire loom I got from Amazon, so all this wire in there, all the black wire loom around here will be red. I'm gonna place the washer fluid bottle, coolant reservoir, all this stuff is just completely done by me on a budget. We've got a budget for this car. And like I said, we're gonna stick within that budget. So I said we've finished the doors, they're all brand new, the front seat, the console. We just got a few spots back here that we need to get taken care of before we reinstall the back seats, which I'm gonna start on that tonight off camera. Nobody wants to see you fiberglass a small hole and cover it up and rust seal it. So we ain't gonna worry about that. But yeah, man, this was another video, man. I thank y'all for watching. As I learned how to wrap these seats on here, like I said, man, y'all can do anything you want to do with these cars. In general, just take some time out, pick up an instruction manual and get to it. But also, man, I changed my name to T-Ride Caddies because that's what I do. Like I said, if I had to choose between, you know, Big Shirley and the recently named Juvenile, I would go ahead and it's going to be the Cadillac all day because Cadillac is in my blood. But yeah, I'm gonna start dropping content, man, while I'm at work, cause I'm actually a Cadillac technician. So I'm gonna start dropping that content for y'all. If you own a Cadillac or a Chevy truck or anything like that, those videos will be good for y'all because you know, everybody knows right now prices for repairs are outrageous. So yeah, be on the lookout for those, man. They may be just small two, three minute videos of just quick little know-hows, but it'll definitely be some good for those people trying to save a buck like myself, especially during these times that we in right now so yeah man thank y'all for watching this video i'm gonna work on this back seat floor get the seats installed man probably post a short about it but yeah man like comment subscribe to the channel thanks again for watching the videos